You should see the hecticness. We've come down to the main market again. Whoa. I'm trying not to get run over. It's very difficult. There's just people and traffic and cows and rickshaws and everything everywhere. There's even a, a park here for people who need um, wheelchairs. All right, let's walk down here. Let's join the market again. See what we can find. Let's go underneath and see. Wow. Seems like everyone's come out tonight. Go to up. Chill up, up, chill up. Sometimes you just have to save people. Come on, get a move on. Otherwise you'll be here all day. You'll be waiting behind people. Because people like to go slowly. People like a slow little walk around shopping. But when you want to get through, you need to be a little bit powerful and say, side me, boys up. Side me. All right, let's carry on looking. Wow, look at this. This is India. One thing you will have noticed from my videos, if you're not Indian, is how much Indian people love to blow their horns on cars, on motorbikes. That's the cacophony, that's the sound of India. Look, whoa. Sometimes it takes you by surprise, like then a loud one, boom, in your ear. We need to cross over to that side, there seems more activity. Let's cross over, Careful. without getting killed. Wow. All right, we're gonna do it. Wow, someone just, oh my God, thank you. See that guy just spat? You've got to be always alert in India. You can't switch off. If you switch off, you're gonna end up with palm juice on your body or spit on your face I'm gonna or out. run over. You must be alert at all times. Here we've got a nice toilet in the street. People just relieving themselves. Lovely. Look at the colours here of the clothes and stuff. People don't wear grey in India. People like to be as colourful as possible. Oh, some hossie just gave me the eye. Oh yeah. Varanasi chicks seem to like me a little bit. All right, let's go under here and check out what people are buying and what they're shopping for. Watch out for the dude on the end field. Let's have a little look what's down here. Got your bag shop, all your colorful things. Let's go down here and see. Right, mate. So what about in your country? Do you have places like this in your country? I mean, in England, nowhere. Even Oxford Street on, you know, a couple days before Christmas. Sometimes you see things, sometimes you see things in India that kind of like take you out of your good mood. You know, a moment of, that reminds you how lucky we are. Wow, you just spat right on my shoe. Thank you very much. Somebody just spat on my shoe, some lady. Crikey. So much happening here, you've got to be constantly switched on. Yeah, you know, sometimes you see, as I was saying, sometimes you just see things that bring you out of your happy mood and it's, um, it's very sad, you know? All right, anyway. Whoa, can't Jenna. Can't Jenna Bay, can't Jenna Bay. Here we've got people who set up their own shops, toy shops and stuff. Namaskar, sir. Yes, it's eager. All right. Where are you? Where are you? Where are Hey, boy, sir. Yes, it's eager. Jay Bolaki. So you've got the shops. But every square inch of space, someone's selling something or buying something, trying to make a living. Look here, we got watches and stuff. Excuse me, coming through. This guy's got everything for the hair. Seems to be like a woman's market in this one, right? I mean, most of the stuff that you see is like women's clothes and stuff.
Hello, what's up? Hello. Oh. He had cold ears. He's wearing one of those wraparound things on his ears. And it's not cold. In fact, I'm sweating a little bit. But for an Indian person, maybe from the plains, when November comes and December comes, like now, they really do get cold when they start wearing jackets and stuff like that. Where I'm still walking around in a t-shirt, they'll have a woolly hat on. They'll have, oh, I'm causing crashes. People are looking at me. I almost caused this guy, hello. I almost caused a crash. Bye bye. We got here people waiting for money. In Varanasi, because it's associated with Shiva and with Hinduism, strongly with Hinduism, because of the river Ganges. Um, you get a lot of pilgrims coming here and a lot of sadhus come here. Jay Boleki, sir. Jay Boleki. Jay Boleki. Not sure they understood my Jay Boleki. I need to work on my accent a little bit, I think. All right, but we're going to carry on. We're going to come to the end of the market, right? Why stop now? There's some Muslim people. Salam alaikum, sir. You have a nice pretty wife. Let's go to the end of the market. Why stop now? Some of the sights that you see here. Wow. Everyone's out and everyone's heading down to the gut to watch the ceremony, I presume. Let's go further down. Oh, all right then. More of the same. I think there's some food stalls down here or something. Man, I was in. Um, I've come from the Punjab, and you know what I found about Amritsar was it was very orderly. It wasn't like a typical Indian city. It was very orderly, very well run, and everything. There was no craziness like this. Then I've come here, and I'm suddenly I'm in the craziness again. You know, and I feel a little bit overwhelmed slightly. I need to wake up my Indian senses, turn, turn my um, senses back on, so I'm prepared for the craziness. Right, we're coming down to the gut now, I think. <laughs> Hopefully, the ceremony is still happening. What's going on? What's going on? Good question. A good question. What's going on in life? Who knows? Here we are, we're down by the gut. Has it started, the ceremony? I think it has. It started. Let's go and check it out. Let's have a quick look. It'll be a nice way to finish. Wow. Amazing sight you're about to see. These are the sort of things I bring you guys. because it's dark but in the background is the river Ganges that's flowing behind this ceremony this has probably been taking place in one form or another for thousands of years not hundreds of years thousands of years that's how old Hinduism is with the smell of incense. Thank <laughs> you. 
chance to be on the holy river Ganges. Ganga, Mata Ganga. In the distance are the posh ones, probably for the posh tourists. And here just all the people who have paid money to come out. By the way. Very happy boats. Yeah. My name Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? Yeah, Michael Jackson. Okay. I'm from England, brother. I'm from England. Welcome to here, India. Thank you, my friend. Further along here, there's one more ceremony. Here we go, same kind of thing, let's check it out. here as well watching. Alright, right. that's it. Here Ceremony, many thousands of years. 
when the river, the life-giving river, the river Ganges, that fed the dry plains of India, how it became a holy river, such a spiritual place for Hindus, and they've been coming here and worshipping for maybe 5,000 years. Okay, let's listen to this. The conch shell is being blown. I think, hello, bicep. I think we've come to the end. We saw the market, the night market, where people buy the things that they use to perform their puja, puja, their prayers, basically, um, here on the banks of the River Ganges in Varanasi. And then we've come down from the market and we've seen the banks themselves. All right, I think that's where we can call it, we can call it quits this evening. Um, it's such a spiritual feeling in the air. It's nice, it's so pleasant to see people so how to describe it, so enamoured with their religion. These people have travelled from all over the country, you know, it's such an honour for them to come and see the Ganges, and in the morning they will come and bathe in the Ganges. We'll look at that in another episode. All right. Shiva's Lingam. I think, I think this is the perfect place to say Jai Boleki from Baranasi, and good night. Shubratri.